big smash. Prince Charles mercilessly refuses Duke of Sussex as he begged desperately a meeting. Prince Harry reportedly planned a one-on-one -on -one meeting with his father Prince Charles, who was said to be dreading the possibility of it, according to reports. Prince Charles is reportedly ready to mend his relationship with son Prince Harry as he hopes to see his new granddaughter Lilibet Diana. Royal expert Nick Bullen claimed this week that he is hoping for a reconciliation soon. He told us weekly, I think Prince Charles really wants to meet his granddaughter. Prince Charles is incredibly sad about everything that's gone on. So the family will want to meet each other. The Jubilee is a perfect opportunity for that because if Harry and Meghan do come back. Because they have to be seen supporting Queen Elizabeth II. It's a great moment for everyone to be together. And everyone's going to have to play nicely and behave well because it's the Queen's moment. This wouldn't be the first time Charles and Harry plan to meet, according to reports. The Prince of Wales and Duke of Sussex planned to meet for dinner to thrash things out while Harry was back in the UK to unveil the statue of his mother Princess Diana. A source close to Charles, who was reportedly in Scotland while the ceremony took place at Kensington Palace, said he intended to travel back to London to discuss things with Harry following the fallout from the explosive interview the Duke and wife Meghan gave to Oprah Winfrey. A nervous Charles was said to be dreading the dinner. Reports were unable to confirm whether the dinner actually went ahead, but Harry did meet his brother Prince William while unveiling the statue in July. The brothers said, we remember her love, strength and character. Qualities that made her a force for good around the world, changing countless lives for the better. They said they hoped the statue would be seen forever as a symbol of her life and her legacy and thanked all those around the world who keep our mother's memory alive. The Sussexes efforts to mend relations between themselves and the royal family could be impacted by Harry's memoirs, which will be published next year. A royal expert has claimed that Harry won't hesitate to spill more information on the feud. Royal editor Roy Nickick said, You say he is going to have to come out with a lot of details in the book, but I don't think Harry will need a huge amount of encouragement to do that. We've seen in the last year, he is very open about wanting to talk more about his life and how he feels and his emotions, so I think for him he sees it as a big opportunity to say some more of what he wants to say. The author, J. R. Moringa, has said that when he is ghostwriting a book, he feels unless the subject is completely honest, it's always going to be a flop, so he is going to be encouraging Harry to be very honest. And Harry, I think, doesn't need much encouragement these days. There is no definitive release date for the book as yet but it is scheduled to be available in late next year. Meanwhile, also next year, the Queen will celebrate 70 years on the throne with her Platinum Jubilee. Buckingham Palace confirmed June 2nd to June 5th will see a series of events reflecting Her Majesty's time at the helm, after she succeeded her father to the throne in 1952 aged just 25. Ms. Nickak added, the publishers have been very vague about the timing of that book and have said it will be out towards the end of next year, which would be after the main Jubilee celebrations. If they come over for the Jubilee next year, which I'm sure they will be part of it somehow, it's going to be quite weird with the royal family sort of thinking, what is coming in a couple of months and what bombs might drop. Although Charles was in Scotland when Harry and his brother, Prince William, unveiled the statue in London, the report suggests he had planned to travel back to London to get some face time with his youngest son and to begin the process of working through their issues, some of which Harry discussed publicly during his and Meghan Markle's sit-down interview with Oprah Winfrey this spring. Charles, at least, was not said to be looking forward to having those hard conversations. A nervous Charles was said to be dreading the dinner, presumably in case he made some faux pas which could be misconstrued and repeated to the Duchess of Sussex back home in California, according to the report.